Hello and welcome to week 12 of AMT-160 Aircraft Inspections. And this week, uh, this this is an interesting week, uh, actually. Uh, what We've only got one thing we're going to do, but we have two assignments. And uh, it's basically the same repair. So let me see if I can make sense of this. So last week at lab, you guys inspected the wings and you found some corrosion damage. And um, I also posted some additional corrosion damage. So you can use your corrosion damage you found, or you can use uh, the pictures that I'm going to show you here. And what I want you to do is take two areas and come up with a repair. Now, where do I find information on repair? Well, in our textbook, we, there's uh, in the general books, it talks about repair and corrosion. And also in the AC4313, it talks about how we repair corrosion. So you can take the areas that you wrote up from last week and write a repair for that. Or you can come down here and you can click on this Cessna 172 corrosion damage link. Now what I gave is I gave you a link to a Google site where I posted five different pictures of corrosion repair. So these weird pictures are 360 uh, if I click on that, it puts it on here, and I can thumb around here. Now, see, there's surface corrosion, right? And it's inside the wing. And uh, we can turn around here, look around here. There's a wasp a wasp nest on that cable. Uh, this is real-world stuff, right? It's, it's R-172. So, so, so what you could do is you could say, okay, here's how I'd repair this. I'd clean it, I'd spray this stuff in here. I'd maybe try to treat it, whatever your repair is for inside the wing. Um, you write up, if, if you want to do that, you've got to pick two, right? There's five. I've given you five pictures here. There's some, there's some stuff on the top of this wing. There's some little bit of corrosion and stuff like that, but you can come up with, you, you just pick two of the five and tell us how you would repair it. Um, here's a flat photo here. There's a motor mount. That thing's made out of steel. All right, so if you want to repair something that's steel. Okay, so those are the photos. Here's how you're going to do the thing. You pick two things you want to write a repair for. You go to the discussion board, and you write up your repair. You create the thread. you got to create the thread first. You can't see everybody else's. you got to write. you got to do yours first. And you're going to type uh, repair right in here. You're going to say repair for uh, motor mount. Repair rust on motor mount. And um, uh, inside wing. Okay. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to type up. I'm going to do this, 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 and this for this repair. And then for repair number two, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. You're going to post it. And after you post it, uh, you're going to evaluate two other students' posts. Make comments, hey, what about this? What about this? I'm not grading what you're writing. I'm grading that you did it, okay? That you did it on time and that you, you, you wrote up a repair and you responded to or you posted for two other students. If you do that, you get a grade. I don't care what you write, even if it's wrong, okay? People are going to give you feedback. You're going to get give feedback to others, and you guys are going to improve it and get this thing perfected, okay? So then, um, if we go back, let me go back to week 12, okay, you're going to wait a day or two, and you're going to, um, in the blog, you're going to post, this is the finalized repair, now I got feedback, hey, I, I messed up on this, but these guys straightened me out, now I got a good repair, and you're going to create a blog entry, it's almost the same. If you got it right in the beginning, it's the same basic post, right? It's the same assignment. I'm just giving you a chance to perfect it in the discussion board and make your final entry on the, the blog, okay? I've given you an extra day on the blog. So, so if you look at the due dates, technically, technically the discussion board is due by um, Sunday night, 11.59, and the corrosion repair, I gave you one more day. So when you look at your due dates on that, you got one more day on this. <clears throat> but it, post early. If you post early, you get feedback, and, 
and you should be able to get this thing done on time, all right? So it makes it a little bit easier because it's really one assignment that you're going to post twice, okay? Um, I've got labs coming up the first week of August, and that'll be for, uh, I think that'll mainly be labs for um, AMT 150, because uh, we've got to do some fuel tank and fuel fuel pump and fuel valve labs. Uh, the second week of August, we're going to have some more labs, and people who owe me makeup, um, we're going to have to get them in that week. That'll be the second week of August. I will send you out an information on that, and I'll send you out um, uh, calendar information. If you got any questions, call me, email me, uh, whatever. You can also get a hold of, of Bob, or um, uh, Bob. you can get a hold of Bob Overman, R.W. Overman, at senseistate.edu, or you can get a hold of Todd. And uh, Todd's email should be on the AMT 155 simulated rigging. And if not, it's, it's, I think it's T.A. Ramsey at um, CincinnatiState.edu. So anyway, have a good week. And uh, we will see you online. The, the lecture for AMT 160 is Monday at 2 o'clock. Uh, here's our lecture schedule for, um, for all my classes, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 2 o'clock on, on uh, Microsoft Teams. Have a good week. We'll see you later.